Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 52 of our Raja of the Rajput Rike achievement run in Europe and Nersal 4. Let's continue. So, we are still at war with the Beristan, Bukhara and Kara on the side of defenders of Crimea, so that's great. Unfortunately, Ottomans is already uh, uh, down to low enthusiasm because they lost a lot of troops uh, in the war with Commonwealth, but at least they already pissed, pissed out in this war, so now... Uh, now Crimea and Ottomans could fo finally focus on the war itself, so that's an opportunity for me, as I already said in the previous episode, to start uh, to start uh, engaging again, or like start going forward. Also, Timur is currently sieged by peasants. Yeah, I'm not gonna pay attention to that, because this jerk is still being rebellious, and actually him losing his army gonna help uh, with his... Uh, Liberty Desire. Oh, well, that's great. I think. Mm, yeah. And someone need to freaking receive this war call. But I don't want to go on here. And I don't think I could because Bukhara have a couple of forts in there. Which probably gonna be stopping me. Okay. There is 42 stack of Ottomans. 24 of Crimea. Great. Great, great, great. I totally need to take as many sieges in here as I possibly can. While I have this opportunity. Oh, let's go and do this. Uh, why can't I go on this fort? Is this one blocking me? That's... Quite weird. But okay. Uh, maybe on this one? Is for Han? Yeah, on this one I can, so... These two gonna be... On the back, uh, to be able to reinforce. And this one gonna... This one with a general, gonna be reinforcing. Or a uh, siege, rather. And this two book gonna be reinforcing. Gold rush! Our miners have hit a massive deposit of gold, massive amounts of money flowing into the treasury. Can inflation get ducats? Oh yes. <laughs> nice. Now we can build a lot of stuff. Why the heck not? Actually, still haven't finished trade depots everywhere, right? Let's go and pop or build one in Surat. And maybe a couple more temples anywhere. 16 in here. Yeah, why not? Uh, anything else rich? Mm, not really. What about manpower? We could start bumping up, uh, bumping it up as well. 700 sounds great. Anything else in here? It yeah, looks like the rest is like 300 max. I guess we're gonna build one in Gorwar then. That should be enough for now. Nagor occupied Shiraz, great. Royal Merchus Yarkand, yeah, we're still allied with them. Also, we st still can go in here as well. Also, Multon just received our post of Sehwan, so we're not gonna... We're gonna stop picking up war exhaustion with the, uh, from that, because I actually forgot... Uh, that we got sieged one province. And yeah, I'm surprised how Molten actually managed to pick up an alliance with Crimea during the war. But now, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to attack Molten because of that. Okay, there is a... The, <laughs> the stock of death. Yeah, all of their army is gonna get wrecked. I think I could send one of my stacks to resiege the war goal. Yeah, let's go and do this. Because there should be no more threat from the attackers. And the war goal actually costs a lot of war score. And if you were to resiege it, Crimea would be able to take a lot more provinces. And possibly give me a lot of more provinces. Also, where the heck are you going? Don't you... Don't you dare say you're going... For this stack. Because it would be... Yeah, you're totally going somewhere here. Gain piety, lose piety. Lose piety. Are you going for Timurids again? Hmm. Okay, I guess... I'm not gonna resiege the war goal then. You're quite annoying. Yeah, Timurids is really stupid. Okay, we've picked up another one. Fort, awesome. Now we can start moving in. Yeah, screw the war goal then. Also, do we want to engage in here? Because they're gonna start resieging a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah, why not? 
we have 28, they have 25. Oh, okay, there is a peace. Taberistan accepted peace with Crimea on the voluntary terms. Taberistan will be forced. Are you fucking kidding me? So he took no provinces from him. He will be forced to pay Crimea 10% of their monthly income. Taberistan will end all treaties with Kara. Crimea, you are a fucking jerk. Now I have a truce with Taberistan. For like... How... Um, how long? <laughs> for 9 years. Or for 8, eight years. For your fucking war reparations, you bitch. Okay, at least they have no alliance with Kara and Ottomans anymore. But I, I've got nothing from this war. And I've spent my manpower. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. If only I had my own claims. He would probably give them to me. But yeah, now I would totally need to start annexing Timurids. Because they're not useful at all anymore. And just use Persian claims. Or courts rather. Ah, oh, you piece of shit. Okay, what I need to do. I need to siege down claims I have on Kara then. As I can start focusing on this region then. And I think... Should we go for Wargol? Yeah, let's go and send one stack for Wargol. Uh, Bukhara accepted peace with Ottomans. Bukhara will pay ducats. Also, oh, Ottomans just pissed out because uh, they had war. I have low war enthusiasm. Okay, that makes things di uh, difficult actually. But we could stack wipes this one stacks. If possible, on our way. Yeah, let's go and try to siege something. On the off chance, Crimea would be willing to give us that. So, one stack to Nizwa and one to Bani Yas. Yeah, actually, moving in the right order. Yeah, let's go and stack wipe some of these guys. Possible. Hmm, <laughs> Okay, there is our occupations of our war goals, or of our claims. So that's something. More battles in here. I think I could even det- uh, Should I detach in here? And uh, no. This might be a stupid decision, but okay. This is the provinces without the forts. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. How's stuff looking in here? No one's still engaging, so that's fine. Mm. Yeah, the resistance of the war goal can give us back 23 war score. So that's quite a lot, actually. Crimea, you should be thankful. If not me, you would be... <laughs> you would be like... In a... In the S. I don't know how to say it politely. Um, trade efficiency guy. Yeah, why not? Uh, rival of a rival. Multan's opinion of Nagur at least 100. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be possible. He hates me quite a lot. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Uh, also, we have 80% of our Amani separatists still. Oh, that's quite annoying, to say the least. Mm. Also, Kara have quite uh, surprisingly small amount of forts. Go here, and this army go down. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, this guy's both at low enthusiasm. Uh, why are you still not pissing out? That's kinda quite surprising. Mm, yeah, 
you go for the fort. Sounds great. And we have a blockade on that, so that's... That's gonna speed up things a little bit more. Oh, Persian Separatists on Timurids. Uh, no, I don't think I want them to win, actually. I want to take Persia... I want to per, uh, for Persia to stay small, like uh, like that. Because if they're gonna take any more provinces, it's gonna make things harder for me. Okay, Timurids are really suffering. I don't know why. Okay, there is conversion of North Konkan. I think we're not gonna be converting anything else. Right now, at least. National rest minus two. Nice. That should help with the rebellioners. Okay, forts and stack. Is it gonna be enough to fight off? Actually, we already have forts and stack, and they're going for my lands. Or they're, they're probably just passing through. But yeah, we already have this army moving down there. So let's go and kill this Persian separatists. Uh, we probably would need to have a leader for that, actually. Or would we? And no. Hmm. I'll just send you to Chabar, so you're gonna be able to pick up the leader. And wait for the siege to finish. Mm -hmm. Okay, 9th in stack. That's really annoying that you are actually combined. Okay, let's go and resiege some provinces then. Okay, why is this war still going? <laughs> no idea. Timurids is really at low enthusiasm. I'm at medium, this guy at high. Okay. Oh, more peasants. Timurids, what the heck happened with you? They tell us of the first circumnavigation. Hmm. That's interesting. Cool. Um, yeah, they're just gonna siege this one by one. Just to have this, uh, this stack available for reinforcement if needed. Okay, there is a white piece. Bukhara will sit to Crimea. Kara will sit to Crimea. Bukhara will... Fuck you, Crimea. You gave me nothing. Kara will sit Adube to Crimea and nothing to me, even though I had two claims in here. Bukhara will renounce their claims on lower Isham. Bukhara will pay ducats. Yeah, I've got nothing. Oh my god. Such a waste. Fucking Crimea. I'm never gonna join your wars anytime soon. Yeah, now I have a truce with them. For... 10... Or 9 years. Great. Great, great, great. Okay, at least it's gonna be time for me to... Uh, annex Timurids. He's actually gonna be willing to get annexed. They're still at 62 liberty desire, and I think I need below 50 uh, to to be able to start annexation. Okay, mm. yeah, let's go and let's go and help Timurids fight off the rebels. Gain prestige or spy fans? I guess prestige is fine. We're quite low on prestige. Yeah, Multan, we're not gonna get opinion with. Also, this army need to sit on Quaham because we have Omani separatists quite high. Just gonna transfer the leader to here. And I don't know. Should we engage from one province? I don't think there is a real reason for that. Are you gonna like me for liberating your provinces? Defended our territory. Okay, at least something. And let's go and send diplomat to improve with you some more. Okay, engage here, engage here. First, 20th of November. Oh, that's quite... quite fast, actually, but I don't need you to be in here that fast. Okay, 29th of November. Uh, okay, I already got locked. It's fine. Truce with Arkan ended, and with Lanna as well. That's fine. Okay, there goes the Persian Separatists. Let's go and fight his peasants as well. Oh, I can't move through here. Multan, give me the access, please. 
And now we're over off. Over our Diplo relations limit. Hmm. How is Persia looking? 159. Still not close enough. Mm. Yeah, we, get, we could get it. Could get 25 relations at max with the gift. Oh, and nothing is actually gonna change. They want my provinces, they, and there is a heretic religion. Hmm. Okay. What about proclaiming guarantee? Is it gonna change anything? Maybe. Uh, guaranteed plus 10. Okay. Anything else? Uh, yeah, let's send a gift. Yeah, we can get more than 25. That sucks. Let's send a gift. And there is 194. Okay, so... That's great. Mm, okay, 4th of April. Nice. Now I don't need to, to, to protect or proclaim guarantee to do any all of this bullshit. I actually also probably could enforce your religion right now. And I think it should be much of a problem, right? You're really small, so I'd better do it while you're small. So yeah, I'm gonna do this as well. I'm gonna enforce your religion. Oh, it's only got it to 25. Because you are kind of kind of weak. So that's great. Con go and convert your provinces. Mm, also, what the heck is that? Shia zealots. Oh yeah, maybe me converting them to uh, to Sunni G gives them a lot of uh, a lot of unrest, if I were to guess. Also, now they have Baluchistani separatists. In two provinces. Do I want to engage into the mountains? I don't think so. But I guess I would have to. Oh. Okay. Where is the third stack? It's on Kuasim. Okay. Also, our boats need to get back to protect and trade in Goa. Uh, we could invest into the idea. Better relations over time. Yes, please. Don't need to core anything. So that's great. And we're one idea away from finishing humanist. It's quite useful. Um, hmm. Okay, so yeah. Let's go and get on these guys. Third scenes. Eight. Let's go and wait for like five days. Twelve. Third scene. 13, 13. Okay, that's better. I want to have my leader in here. Molten declared war on Yut sunk. Uh, I don't even have a border with them. Mm. What is that? Military access from Molten. <laughs> uh, uh, how about... No. Not gonna receive anything. Yeah, Timurids. Any chance of me to start annexing you? No, Arkan. So, to start annexing, I need to have Liberty Zar at least of 50. And have 64. And it's going to cost me almost 900 points to annex, annex Timurids. Oh yes, it's going to be a long time. But that's quite a lot of territory. So that's uh, kind of worth it. So now go for the remains of Baluchistani separatists. It should give me even more opinion from them, I hope. Liberated our provinces, yeah. Better love me for that. Trust, Diplo reputation, more than 100 development, events. Yeah, these events just... Uh, just need to take down. This reinforcement or enforcement of the religion need to take down. But I actually did not manage to convert much to Sunni anyways, which is kind of surprising. You should know, they, they converted some provinces, but they still have still have more than half as Shia. And that's annoying. But oh well. Okay. Separatists are gone. 
There's still Shia Zealots. And I guess I need to kill them as well. Could I reach them? I can't. Okay, let's cancel our military access with Multon. Actually, Bukhara. Any chance you're gonna give it to me? Yes, you would. I guess I'm gonna take it then. And let's go send both of these stacks to here. I know we're over our Diplo relations by two, but... <laughs> what can you do? We need to protect Timurids now. Actually, it is already time for me to have a break, guys, so I'm gonna do this and we're gonna continue in the next episode. So, if you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like, if you want to see more, you could subscribe, and if you want to leave a comment, I should definitely do it, and I would answer you so they could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.